Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range, you know, we've got the Narrow Arms N1. New release for 2019, subcompact, 9mm handgun. Let's see how it does. And there it is. Nifty little handgun. When I did my table review, I, I demonstrated how much smaller and lighter it is than other guns, primarily the, the, the shield. It does have a seven round magazine, two seven round magazines, this one with the extended base plate, another with a flat base plate. We're gonna check that out in a minute, but it is lighter than the shield um, by quite a bit. Now the unloaded weight is 16 and a half ounces. You add seven rounds to it, it's like 19 ounces. So it's a very lightweight handgun. It's got a 3.1 inch barrel, polymer frame, glass filled nylon polymer. It does have an aluminum trigger that is red, which is kind of cool. Two slot Picatinny rail. It does have slide cutouts on top and the side of the slide. The trigger weight I measure right at six and three quarters pounds and it's a full reset. So it's a true double action. Three dot sights and they are interchangeable with the original Glock 43 sights. So that's nice. You can put night sights on here, get the night sights for the Glock 43, put it on the N1 and you are good to go. It's got a nice feel to it. Many people said it's a ripoff from the SIG P365, you know, and I, I can see that right there, especially the back end of this, uh, some of the texturing around the grip. I can see where people come up with that, and uh, they're not wrong, all right? They're not wrong, but this is a hammer-fired gun. It's a hammer right there, partially cocked hammer upon the charge kind of gives the look of an LCP2 or even the Ruger Security 9. So that's the big difference there. It does have forward serrations. Now what I just loaded here is the flat base plate magazine with self-defense loads. All right, hollow points. Let's see how it does with these. <laughs> it's firing, but I'm hitting one out of two shots here. And there it is. All right. So the slide does lock back. Uh, nifty little shooter for a lightweight handgun. It's not very uh, heavy in recoil at all, like, like one would expect. Not bad. I've got some Winchester USA forged ammo, the, the cheap stuff. I want to see if it's going to uh, feed, fire, and eject that stuff. Let me load up both these mags. We'll come back and check it out. Here we have Winchester USA forged steel case ammo. Very dirty stuff. I may have mentioned that it's a single stack mag. It's actually a single feed into a staggered stack. If you can see that there. Let me lock the slide back here. We'll punch this mag in and see if it drops the slide like so many... Okay, it does, like so many polymer frame guns do. Let's see if it feeds fire and ejects this steel case. All right, so far so good. That was with the flat base plate. Let me go ahead and rack some double taps here. We'll go ahead and Drop the slide that way. All right, so here we have a little issue, and I am not surprised. This happens quite often with with many of uh, many guns that use this uh, USA Forge by Winchester. The one thing I want to demonstrate, okay, it's locked up in there. Not just with this gun, but other guns. Grab the slide like this and then punch through to drop that that um, case. All right, not sure how this is gonna do. I think it's gonna be just fine. All right, same thing. I'm not necessarily putting all this on the gun itself. But once again, that is stuck in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the slide, see if I could pull it out. Okay, that time I was able to pull it out manually. Let me go for that rabbit. A 
The one thing I really like about the N1 is the frame to slide fit. It is extremely smooth. Even when you disassemble it, just move that lever down. No need to pull the trigger and off comes the slide. You can see that it does have longer frame rails. That is nice. Now the MSRP on this gun is $399. Expect to see it between $350 and $360 would be my best guess. But there it is. New to the market. Narrow arms. N1. And if you get a chance, check it out. You may just like it. It's very lightweight and a pretty soft shooter. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.